Hello, everyone. Apologies for the noise because it's currently raining. And I'm going to be drawing some clouds. Let me just get my gloves on. Okay. Mm. Clouds, clouds, clouds. I don't actually know what kind of clouds I'll be drawing, but let's start. Ooh, it's too small. Still too small. So it's going to be one of those clouds where it's actually brighter on the bottom instead of on the top side. Usually when it's like this, it's because uh, The sun actually is a, no, more like the clouds are being higher than the sun currently is. It could be late in the evening, about to get dark. Let's leave this gap right here. Leave that one. And I don't know if you can tell, but I, I don't really zoom in all that much. Because uh, if I draw a zoomed eye like this, it sort of helps me see the bigger picture. So, if I zoom in, I might end up with a very weird looking, very strangely shaped a brush. So, let's go darker this time. It's going to be... Okay. It's about this big. Quite a dark one. And the behind all this is going to be really big ones so I'm not really sure on what we'll get here it's a bit random let's go with some smaller ones over here Doing clouds like this is sort of a good exercise for coming up with good compositions. Because all you're doing is really just laying down marks here and there. 
and you keep doing that until you're somewhat satisfied with what you have. And you know what? I could use something else here. What about this? No, no. Uh, how about this one? It's not big enough. Go with this one. Take this color. Like it to be quite big. Let's make this one not so opaque. What else do we have here? Low hills. Let's do it reversed. Uh, is this big enough? Can't really see. Okay, it should be enough. Some more opacity, and then just do that to make it look like it's really getting picked up by the wind. Maybe smaller. I wonder if I can smudge using this. Let's try smudging. What does that look like? It's a bit too chaotic, never mind. Um, okay. have made a good decision right there. So it's making you one on top. So if it's bad again, I can just get rid of it. Let's go darker. we go for this. Let's go max size. Ooh, that looks good. What if you do it to this one? Nah. A bit much. What else can we use? Patches of land. Okay, let's try that. Take that color. Yeah, it looks about right. Got bigger ones too. What other clouds do we have here? Uh, let's 
Let's take a look at number five. Is it too big? No. I think this one is a good enough. Just have to blur out the bottom parts. It's looking too sharp. What else do we have here? What's that? You know what? I think we could do one for the back. Yeah, like so. Okay. Here too. Over there. Now. Mm. Let's give it a go. We're gonna save this as a JPEG. Copy. But then, we're gonna paste it right here. So, what I did was pretty much, I made a new layer based on whatever is visible. So now, let's duplicate that, so, just in case I make a mistake, still got the original. Um, gradient maps. That looks good, although I would say not bright enough. Oh, you know what? I don't think I should have, um, Imported as a JPEG, maybe a PNG. Oh, 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 I know. Get rid of the background. PNG. Copy. Paste. Enable the background, which is pure white. Okay. Like a duplicate of that. Let's try to get it real strong. Dark and rich. Okay. Gradient map. Oh. Um. Duplicate this. We're gonna put that over here just so we can make changes to this. I wonder if I can rename this. No? Huh. Okay. Okay, whatever, I'll just go with something pinky dark blue over there slightly pink okay hmm let's shift this one Make a new one. Huh. Delete. I quite like that blue.
Let's see if this will work. Make a duplicate of this. And this one's gonna be overlay. Duplicate, we're gonna need a dodge. Oh, color dodge. Another one's a linear dodge. So the background color will be what of a cool green blue color, like a turquoise. Okay. Um, Gaussian blur. Four. Reduce the opacity. And that's looking <laughs> very intense. What if we, oh no, no, multiply? No, overlay is better. Let's, let's go with maybe color burn. Linear burn, there. Over here. Another gray, just to neutralize it a bit. Should be safe. That dark sky is sort of, it's bugging me. So let's change that. Delete, 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 delete everything. I believe it's this one. Yeah. Let's just clipping mask. Soft brush, pure white. There. Something like this. Okay. Let's do that again. PNG, copy, put that up here, paste. Gradient map, go with this one. Duplicate this. Um, turn that into overlay. Another one set to. Well, let's try linear dodge this time. What if you darken this? Oof. It's too intense. Let's try making it dark. Where is it? Uh huh. Another one. Okay, but it's blurred. Six percent should be okay. Six. Okay. 
I would like to darken this. Oh, it's looking quite like a twilight-ish. It's cool. On the new layer on top. Um, multiply. Let's see how this goes. I'm trying to create like a vignette or some sort. Just so that you don't really look at the borders. So you just look at this part of the picture. And then... Let's save it as a JPEG, copy. Once again, we paste. Just to be safe, make a duplicate. I'm gonna bloom this up. Wow, okay, too dreamy. Now that looks okay. This one's gonna be linear dodge or add, as Procreate calls it. And the default luminosity, a uh, luminance uh, brush set actually has a, a lot of good ones that you can use. I'm gonna go for this color. So, is it big enough? Let's try it out. Boom. Could do it bigger. Maybe there. Nah. And... What's this? Okay... Ooh, too much. Okay... Reduce the opacity, but make it big. Hopefully it appears somewhere on here. It's too big. Too opaque as well. Okay... feeling it. That one's okay. Nope. No. Whoa. Pulse, eh? What's that? Maybe not. What's this? No. What about this one? Ooh. I might use that if I were to draw Tinkerbell. I think the moon brush should be good. Clear. Boom. Too big. Okay. There. Wonder if I can duplicate this and see how it. No, that's too bright. Um. What else can I do? Oh, I could do birds. Birds. This one. Lena Dodge. Okay, 
Okay, let's make a random selection. And then we can feather. And just darken. And then darken again. Okay. Duplicate. Caution blur. Four percent. Of dust. Mm. Meh. No, I think this one looks fine as it is now. Okay. Um, anyway, if you're still here, thanks for joining in. This is more of a freestyle sort of video into looking at how I sort of approach drawing and thinking of um, compositions. So as you can see, just like with everybody else, I also experiment, make mistakes, and uh, it's not as glamorous as you would think. Because uh, layer management sort of messy, it's not the best. But, uh, well, that's what I would usually do if I were to sketch and draw something loose like this. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you next time. Bye.